Sahi here. Welcome to play with me with Create a Smile products. Today I'm featuring uh, funky feathers stamps and this nice circle stencil, which is called wait wait wait, which is called which is called concentric circles. That's a tricky name, but I really love the stencil. Anyway, I'm starting with the feathers, and as you see, these are clear stamps, so I'm using acrylic block because I want to have actually quite clear, clear uh, stamped image for for this layout. Um, I'm using Versamark ink because I'm doing some embossing feathers. I'm doing some kind of dream catcher. Um, layout so i'm using these feathers as embellishments and i will cut them out so that's why i'm actually using the acrylic block <laughs> which i don't use very often so i'm um, doing some circles on the background too uh, i'm doing this with the same technique embossing uh, through the stencil and this will not be as clear as the stamped image was because I'm using a sponge, but that's how I like it to be because um, I'm not using the circle as a circle, just a circle-ish. <laughs> so, as you see, just parts of the circle, circles, which is nice. Uh, I'm actually using another stencil too because I want to kind of calm down the golden embossing powder. This is also from Create a Smile and it's called um, Diamond Crit, if I remember right. Yes, it's Diamond Crit. So I'm cutting these feathers off and I'm using papers from Die Cut with a View. I really like they are really dreamy and matching perfectly for this uh, picture. The picture is my good friend's daughter, who is really, really cute and adorable. And I have made a promise to make a lot of layouts of her pictures because she is so beautiful and my friend really appreciates my, my layout. So why not? Um, as you see, some of the papers has the same gold as well as the embossing powder is, so it's really nice to have this matching theme all over the layout. I'm just adding few, few uh, paper layers with the doily, and then, then some, some papers with 3D foam to add some dimension, and then the photograph. Even though these papers are a square and uh, straight straight edges. Um, I think the Dreamcatcher theme really tr really goes through from the layout um, even though it, all the papers are not are not circles or or anything like that but you can get the feeling out anyway. Uh, I'm adding some thread to these feathers to make them look more soft. Um, and then I'm making a kind of look that they are hanging from the picture. Even though they are not hanging, I'm gluing them down because I, do I don't want them to uh, move around a lot. But I'm adding the feather, feather for every... I'm adding the thread to every feather. Now my words are going messy. Anyway, uh, I added the feathers with 3D foam as well because I wanted to have some kind of shades under them and then I'm adding this uh, small word love on top of the picture because it kind of looks nice there. Uh, I'm finishing the layout with some sequins which are also from Create a Smile um, and you can find them from Create a Smile web shop. Um, and that's it. Maybe some drops of golden mist um, for the last phase, but that's it then. Uh, I really like the effect on the background with these uh, two stencils because I used um, Simmer's uh, really light modeling paste with lots of scene inside, so it you can see the 
um, first tensile layer behind it, so it's not too visible. But then again, there's something going on in the background all the time, and I really like the effect like that. And I do like this golden theme with the baby because the baby is so cute with the blue eyes and yeah. So that's what I did today. I hope you like this layout as much as I did. I actually was kind of surprised that I really enjoyed the feather stamp so much, even though I'm not a big fan of feathers, but now I really am. So here you can see the details of the background and the not so sharp embossing circles and much sharper feathers. Uh, I will share some more process videos with Create a Smile uh, products in two weeks, so we'll see you then. Thank you for watching and bye!